You welcome back. This is Breakfast Daily on City TV, and let's go to the salon, shall we? Of course, time now to have a conversation about the hairdressers. You know, um, we told you yesterday that there's a new employee on the block. Now, this guy, I don't know, is all the women together times four, and he comes with some kind of energy, and he is right here in our studios. Kwame Che, also known as he said it, KK. KK, how are you? <laughs> I'm fit as a fiddle. I'm fine. Boy, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey. No, but what, what is, we like Keke, but for the purposes of, you know, your family members watching you, yeah. tell us the name your papa gave you. Okay, so I'm um, Samo Abeku Tichiteria. Okay. Yes. But we like Keke. Yeah. All right. <laughs> now, we also have, you know, so when you, well, after um, you watch the episode, you see a tall list of persons who made uh, the hairdressers possible, you know, so from people writing scripts to those who are, you know, who help make um, the cast. I mean, everybody, cameraman, you name it, one person also takes charge, you know, of interpreting the whole script, of um, bringing out the characters of the cast, and that is the director. This young woman has done exceptionally well in making sure that we have beautiful episodes to show you every Wednesday. Victoria Hello, Dogbe Sima. is here. Hi, Victoria. Hi, Sima. Beautiful dress. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you, too? I'm well, thank you. Now, tell me a little bit, you know, about the KK character. Okay, so the KK character, he's a nosy person. Okay. He happens to know everyone's business, mm -hmm. even the clan's business in the <laughs> salon. Actually, he was brought in to reduce gossip. Yeah. Because actually, he happens, to know, yeah, he, ha he happens to know all the gist about people, including yeah. Madame herself, hey. Madame Gifty. So KK is this. And, and he's a feminine, he likes feminine stuff. He has a feminine demeanor. That's how come you saw him with now, the lip gloss. Now, are you straight? No, I'm crooked. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously, you are crooked. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that question was asked because, actually, people, I get those questions, is he gay, is he gay? Mm. That question was asked because there was a client that came into the salon, and as she stepped out, KK was admiring her. Hey, you see the bomb bomb? That's yeah. why if you asked that question, are you straight? Ah. To be sure if he really is okay. or not. No, 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 KK. Um, this is not hairdressers. Yeah. You know, this is a serious question I'm asking you. Yeah. Are you straight? Yes, I am. I'm oh, straight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but so why would you accept a role like that? Yeah, as an actor, you should be versatile. Okay. Yeah, you shouldn't be at your comfort zone. Mm. You should, yes. Take other roles, other difficult roles. Do you have a girlfriend? Yes, I have okay. a girlfriend okay. in Legon. Hey, it's okay. Hey, it's okay. Don't need that dress. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. But how was it like, you know, being part of um, the hairdressers? Oh, it was cool. My first time on set, like everyone was happy to see me mm. and the others. So yeah, it went well. Super. Yeah. Now uh, you make your first appearance yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, well, the tenant itself is saying key. <laughs> Do you know the tenant? No, what no, I did? Tenet, let's see. What I did? Oh, you don't remember? I do. <laughs> I just wanted to feel it, you oh, know. Oh, wow. If that's not, because we are all looking forward to meeting you tomorrow officially yeah, yeah. in the salon, yeah. right? Now, yeah. so, v Victoria, um, what is he bringing on board? You've mentioned that um, he was supposed to come reduce gossip in the house, but generally, what does his role add, you know, to the experience of the hairdressers? Okay, so from the beginning, he might seem as a rude person. Okay. But actually, as it unfolds, mm. you realize that he tends to blend with the hairdressers. And even with Gina, who has an attitude, yeah. at a point, they, t they tend to team up. Okay. They team up to achieve the same goal. Mm. So he tends to blend with them. He tends to um, show care to them. He tends to defend them, the mm. other ladies. But what, so what message are we trying to send across, you know, with having a male beautician in the salon? Okay, across to yeah. the audience. Yes. We want the audience to know that not, it's, it's not just mm. females who are supposed to be in the salon to help or work mm. or um, do the manicure or pedicure. Males can also, there are male hairstylists out there mm -hmm. and they are not they are not there because they like the feminine stuff. It's something some people just love to do the work. Okay. Some people, I think, it's their calling. Mm. So there are mm. more creative male people out there whom you can employ in your salon. Mm. So that's the message we are. So, so, so um, for those of us who have seen 
um, the trailer, you know, we, we know that KK is kind of not too straight in our eyes yeah. because there's a young man who will put lip gloss on and we don't know what he's trying to achieve with that, you know, yeah. and he has a certain kind of way of speaking and turning around and doing all that. And you've mentioned that you might think that he is a rude person, but he's not yes, rude. Yes, he's not rude. What else do we have to know about KK before we meet him? Okay, he's a no-nonsense person. Okay. You don't just come to the salon and um, trash him. Oh, he would even deal, a guest. He would deal with you even if you're a guest. <laughs> and it happened. You, as the story unfolds, you see it. He wow. will deal with you very well. Wow. Now, KK, you know that after meeting you, okay, in yeah. the hairdressers, now, in your life, you know, outside act, acting, people are going to see you in a certain way. Are you prepared for this? Yes, they've started. Even oh, really? Yeah. Yesterday I posted um, the trailer on my TikTok and people were just... What did they say? Hey, like some of... I, I need not to say this. People were... Some of the bisexuals, mm -hmm. yes, they were yeah. just... Hi, baby, <laughs> hi, dear. And those oh, no! Really? Yeah. And... <laughs> <laughs> it's, hey. it's fine. People too were asking, are you gay or something? I said, oh, I'm just playing the character. Mm. So it's fine. It's it means you're a good actor. Yeah. 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 Now, how easy or difficult was it, you know, um, translating the script into a character? As I said, as a good actor, yeah. you should be versatile. Mm. So it was not too difficult. Not too difficult. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Right. So tomorrow we officially meet you. Yeah. What should we expect? Oh. I spent the best. Okay, I expect KK yes, in the yes, building. Yes, yes, yes. Victoria, so um, subsequent episode, what should we be expecting? I think you should expect more than what you've watched so far. Okay. There's a lot of drama. There's a lot of gossip. Like, there are lots of um, more difficult clans coming into the mm -hmm. salon. Yeah. Which is going to create a lot of drama mm. in the salon. So mm. you should expect the best. Mm. What you've watched... You're going to expect more. Oh, wow. We as like the that. Week we like it. We so like please it. Please stay tuned. Awesome. So, the hairdressers is on tomorrow evening, and we will be officially meeting the KK, you know, <laughs> the no nonsense guy, the guy who we don't know whether he's straight or crooked, the guy who would add on to the gisting at the saloon. Now, we also watch because of the gisting, because we like it. You know, <laughs> some people just come across as hypocrites, but. Who doesn't like filler? We all do love it. KK, thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, Victoria, thank you very much. You're still watching Breakfast Daily. Let's take a look at the City Countdown.